I have eye twitching. Is it really serious? Or can eye twitching be a forerunner of hemifacial spasm? Twitching of the eyelid is a very common experience. And I think uh, there would be hardly any person who would not have, you know, experienced some minor twitches at times, right? So eye twitching in itself may not herald uh, the beginning of the hemifacial spasms. But if it is progressive, if it is increasing in frequency and eye twitching is spreading to the cheeks and the entire face starts twitching like this, then definitely, you know, it is progressing towards hemifacial spasms. Mm -hmm. What we have observed is that the first twitching, usually, if there, it's not a rule, first twitching that appears is in the lower eyelid. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this starts, you know, I'll show you, this starts twitching like this. Tuck, 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 mm -hmm. tuck, you know, involuntarily. Mm -hmm. And this is something which you cannot do voluntarily. Correct. Right? If you try voluntarily twitching this, mm -hmm. you cannot do this. Mm -hmm. You can twitch the upper eyelid like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see this? I can do it voluntarily. But only lower eyelid twitching, mm -hmm. it is usually 99% of the times it is involuntary. And uh, when I see that, then, uh, and if it is progressive, then definitely one has to be worried about hemifacial spasms. But merely one or two attacks of eye twitching should not, uh, you know, bother you too much. So only if it becomes more frequent, more intense, spreading to the cheek, that is one uh, they need to get themselves investigated. Yeah, if, be, if it becomes more frequent, hmm. if the intensity of the spasms, like this, initially if it is like this, like this and then intensity keeps on increasing mm -hmm. also the amplitude goes on increasing frequency increases then it is bothersome it did not spread to the cheeks to make the diagnosis because we have operated some of the patients who had only severe eye twitching as part of hemifacial spasm mm -hmm. because they were stage actors mm -hmm. and two of them are actually international actors mm -hmm. who are actually you know uh, who had this uh, twitching as part of hemifacial spasm so there is nothing that uh, they can do on their own to stop the twitching. It's just a matter of time. It's the the attack of or the spasm attack has to abort itself naturally. So which attack are you talking about? Are you talking spasm. about hemifacial spasm or uh, a physiological eye twitching that happens in some people? Correct. So then, so for the patient, it is just eye twitching. They don't know whether it is hemifacial spasm uh, or no, whether so it is... The eye twitching that commonly happens to all of us from time to time. We neglect it and it goes exactly. away. But if it is progressive, then during the attack you can't do anything. Ah. But generally these attacks last for very few seconds, seconds. initially and then they go away. Mm. When they progress to hemifacial spasms, mm. you cannot really stop the hemifacial spasm because they are involuntary. You can refer to the videos that we have made. There are nearly 80 videos for public education about hemifacial spasms. You can give the link mm. uh, if you want mm. and they can refer to right. our channel. Mm. Uh, I have discussed in detail about you know why spasms happen and uh, why in some cases the blood vessel is seen on the MRI but there are no spasms. Mm. You know all sorts of permutations combinations we have discussed. Mm. and. Uh, you, they can definitely refer to those videos.